Okay. Hey guys, so we have an awesome guest at, you know, bringing to our group today. And you know, I did talk about that we were going to talk about success partners. And obviously, this is my rock star success partner. This is Amy Coppola. She basically, I think like, you know, when you ask for something and you don't know what you're asking for, and then the universe provides it in the most woo-woo talk, that's totally what happened. Um, She's, you know, insane. She's done so many great things with her business. She's constantly like pushing and growing. And she is this one of those people that inspires me to be a better person, a better mother, like show up, but have a really good time while doing it. I sometimes get a little serious about things. And we have both like really grown in ways that we elevate each other. And when I was talking to her about, okay, what can I add value to on this diamond group, right? Um, I thought, will you talk about success partners? Because I know for me personally, like finding someone to run with just changes your game, you know? And and I think so many times we look around, right? Like we look in our downline, we look who our upline, who else they've recruited or people that started with us. And while that might be great, um, I think the cross pollination of getting other ideas, like, you know, Amy's with Diesel Nation, which is like this giant powerhouse too. And so she has these different ideas and different trainings and they have a different team culture than what we have. And it's just been like, really awesome to grow with her and so I asked her if she'd come on and of course she said yes because that's what of course (laughs) um and and so yeah so that's what we kind of wanted to talk about tonight is how because this group is so big and it's everyone with a similar goal right like you're all pushing to diamond or some of you are pushing to higher levels of star diamond how can you find someone else so what you'll see is how we kind of started our relationship. And yes, it will sound like we're getting married and some of the things we talked about are <laughs> super weird, but recognize that there's nothing like that going on here. <laughs> um, and we, you know, just be basically below here is what we want to talk about is how to get something like this started, how to really make it something that works for both of you and how you can kind of find each other in the sense. So it will look like a classified ad as you look below this post, but I really encourage you to be honest and to kind of be open to seeing if someone else can come into your life to elevate you to a new level of your business. So Amy kind of reached out to me, or maybe you should tell that story of how yeah, you she met. Yeah, first. I'm like, hold on, the prequel. Yes. <laughs> the prequel before. before. Yeah. So I work with a life coach, as is Wendy, and um, I was talking to him one day and, you know, I kept telling him, you know, I've noticed that I kind of feel like I'm chasing my tail lately. And, you know, we're our own biggest critics always. But, um, you know, I had made this observation and it was an accurate observation. I had kind of come to a point that I was doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, which is the definition of insanity. (laughs) So, and not the Shanti kind. Um, That one produces results. But he had, you know, (laughs) helped me. (laughs) Yeah. He had helped me kind of um, realize and kind of assess what I had been doing the last, you know, months leading up to that. And I noticed that I had come to a space that I really wanted to connect with. And I had to get very specific and get very clear on this um, before I could even realize what it was that I was looking for. And so I decided that what it was that I personally wanted was to connect with other, you know, really strong women um, who were just, you know, ambitious, who could play at my level, which is, you know, something cool too, because I'll get into that. Um, And who were driven, who really were not afraid to go after their goals, who weren't afraid to set big goals and take the action steps necessary to go after them. Um, Women who could travel, women who, you know, this type thing. And I got very clear on what it was. And it was really cool because once I created that very specific list of what it was that I wanted, you know, to encounter next in my life, there was Wendy and it sounds like so <laughs> magical but the crazy part was I, was I kid you not kid you not days after this call with my coach right it's somewhere in the wall somebody posted you know look in search of single mom success stories blah 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 and I get tagged a lot for that and then I kept seeing this Wendy Spencer girl and it's so funny because somebody on that 
particular day had written this beautiful post about how she's this and that and inspiring and incredible and hardworking and mama the three and I'm reading this and I'm like, wow, this girl is awesome. I really need to meet her. And so I'm like, I'm going to send her a friend request. I go to send her a friend request. We're already friends. Come on, have you ever done that? Uh-huh. I'm like, I go to send her a message and this message thread pops up from Pat that we're in this message thread and all of a sudden, oh my goodness, Wendy was on my same team. We were teammates at leadership last year and I just hadn't all the dots together and realized that this whole time this badass mom that needed to be my success partner had actually been introduced into my life but it wasn't until I took a step back and and reminded myself that who you surround yourself with and who you're spending all your time with is going to you know really influence and affect who you are and the activities that you're doing and the level that you're playing at Mm -hmm. and it wasn't until I decided to make space for that badass level to come in that Wendy showed up or I opened my eyes to the potential of these, you know, um, success partners or partner that could really push to that next level. So that's, you know, kind of the intro and, you know, something maybe that you need to do as well is evaluate who is it that you're spending your time with? Do they share the same goals as you, you know, and what is it, who is it that you'd like to connect with, even though you may not know who the person is right now, but what are the characteristics, what are the qualities um, of the person that you would love to connect with, to run with for the next year and on? Mm-hmm. And I think it's important to get really clear on what you expect to give and what you expect mm-hmm. to receive. And this was something that I think also really helped Amy and I connect because we had both tried the success partner route before. And some success partners we had outgrown which is really hard. And I know I've spoken to some people about it because you almost feel like this guilt about it, right? Like when life happens or your business does this and you know, maybe their business does not, it's hard, but you have to recognize that growth can't be a bad thing. And you want someone, one thing that I really love about our relationship is we're both very driven but I can tell you right now that Amy doesn't have a bigger cheerleader than me. If she's a top coach, she's the number one coach, guess who's going to be the person cheering the loudest? Me. Because I'm going to be so excited she's up there. Do I want to be up there? Hell yeah. But guess what? Like, I will never use her success to diminish my light. Like, it just makes both of us shine brighter. And I think it's really important to recognize that you need that type of relationship with a success partner. There can't be that jealousy or envy. It can only be a, wow, she's killing it. I better step it up too. Um, so there needs to be really that also. Um, so yeah, it's know what you want to give. You don't need to have the exact same strengths or even opposite strengths. Maybe someone's really great at Instagram and someone else is great at Facebook or creating a team culture or different weaknesses. You don't like Amy and I are both single moms who love to travel while that's awesome. And we get to do a lot of really cool stuff together. It doesn't need to be as clear cut with a success partner. Like, check this box. I think it's good to get clear, like Amy said, but recognize the person who might be your best success partner might not look exactly like you, but you need to have that level of like this energy kismet. Like when we talked for the first time, I think both of our hearts were like, wow, this is really something kind of (laughs) I'm looking for it, but it just hadn't fit just well with someone else. And with, you know, Amy saying, you know, you're the reflection of the people you spend most of your time with. I truly believe that like the power of fives, you know, where you'll be in a year is a reflection of the five people you spend the most amount of your time with and the five books that you're currently reading or the one book that you're currently reading throughout, you know, as you move. So that's really important to think about. Um, Also, I think moving forward, we had some other little guidelines like, Do you need to be talked to every day? Do you like, how do you want me to push you? Are you a tough love or I need cuddle bear hugs all the time, right? Like kind of get a lot of that stuff out in the beginning. Like it was literally like a proposal slash Mm -hmm. job interview, our first conversation and lighthearted. It's not like we're like, if you don't do this, I'm not doing that. But it was really like, let's lay all on the table. And then we can say like, hey, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I want to do that. Or, you know, I think you're awesome, but I don't know if this is right for me. And I encourage you to do this in your relationships too. Mm -hmm. Um, But especially today with the success partner situation. So, you know, if you want to write a little, you know, ad, classified ad for yourself, or like, this is what I'm looking for. 
do that, you know, do that below here and then start looking and start looking at people's profiles and don't be scared to reach out. Or maybe we can have a rule or something that if someone likes, <laughs> someone likes your classified ad, you can stalk them and it gives you, if maybe they're too scared to reach out to you or something, right? You can stalk them and you can ask them. It's like the Tony Robbins thing when you're trying to make your partner, if you make eye contact, and the other person <laughs> looks away, it means we, we, I don't want to be partners with you. But if you both make eye contact, then it's good. So maybe if you both like each other's posts, then you could connect or something. Either way, um, that's kind of, I think it's really important for you to put it out there what you're looking for. Okay, what else are we going to talk about? Because this has been... About goals. Yeah, okay. about goals too. Because like once you establish, you know, or as you're establishing, you know, the expectations, you also want to make sure that you know, that you guys have your very own goals. Number one, those are important for you to know where you're going and share them with your partner and make sure that they're similar goals. You know, if, if someone is reaching out to you who only wants to work maybe an hour a day, whereas you're committed to working your business four hours a day, that's probably not going to be a perfect, you know, match. You don't know. I don't know. You'll have to fash it out. But that's something that's important for you guys to, um, you know, relate to each other at the same time as well. Mm -hmm. What goals do you have short term, long term for the year, for the next five years? Um, but it's important that you have those for yourself and that you lay those out to your, you know, to your success partner. So that way, you know, not only can you make sure that it's someone who shares similar goals, but also someone who's going to support and push you towards your goals. Um, so that way, that accountability piece can really kick in. And it doesn't have to be just business. It can be just business. And I think initially ours was just business to start. But I think for both of us, our big goal is, okay, how do we take care of ourselves as single moms, A? B, how do we make sure our kids feel really, really loved and a part of our business? And we hold each other accountable to that. I know like when we were both pushing for elite last year and you know, Amy's like this two time elite and she's you know doing all these crazy things. And it was like, we were like, how are we not going to let each other give up on our goals? Whether we hit them or not, how do we keep pushing each other and saying, no, what you said you wanted to do this and I'm not going to let you quit on it. Right? Like, and I think that's, what's also really important. If you tell your success partner, your goals, they don't just let you say, Oh no, never mind. I didn't really mean that, right? Like they're going to hold your butt to the fire and whether you get it or not, they're going to help you push to that point. And so that was really a big thing for our relationship too, like getting clear on your goals and your success partner, making sure that you're hitting those levels. Um, so yeah. And the thing with Amy and I, and where she's going to talk a little bit more about it too, but like we get to events. Like, and that's how we met. We met at leadership. We literally were like pushed on a team um, to do crazy things on the beach. <laughs> Sounds bad. Events like Olympic <laughs> on the beach. Yeah. Um, and that's the first time, you know, I, I even met like Pat, you know, like I had never met Pat before that event. So I think about what both of you have brought to my business. You know, I wouldn't even be in this group probably if I wouldn't have met Pat. And it's a situation of my business has grown. My personal life has grown because of my relationship with Amy. We just got back from Vegas. We're going to Fiji together this year for Tony yeah. Robbins. I know. <laughs> I know. I've mentioned it before, but this who will be my cabin partner. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we get to these events and then it's like having I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it like imagine someone that knows your goals that knows your team that knows your situation and you go to these events and you can maybe pick up something that they didn't pick up and I'm like I'll look at her and be like oh my gosh you could use it for that and she's like well wait I got this to use for you it's like having that person that just elevates you constantly that's always looking for ways to kind of plug the holes in your business so that's why also like we were going to talk about getting to events can be so big as far as that cross-pollination goes um, of getting other ideas and then also growing with your success partner and starting to do things with them you know just outside of the virtual relationship sometimes yeah but one thing that's a given is that everybody should be on their way to summit yeah. and that'll be a really great time if, if your partner um, is not someone that you can connect with locally you're definitely going to be able to establish a relationship beforehand and then get to meet them and hug them and high five them there at summit um, and that's you know 
everybody knows that that's a really important event for you to get to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a place that you're going to be able to really take your business to that next level, celebrate your success of what you've done in this group, and also, you know, again, be able to connect with your success partners or future success partner if you haven't found one yet. Um, but that's not going to happen if you're not there. So that's definitely something you need to make sure you're at. Getting to summit. Yeah, exactly. And I think the thing, other thing that will really help grow you personally as a coach, not just meeting your success partner, but getting someone on your team to summit with you. And that's really where it's like, okay, this is, this is more than just me sitting in my house alone, working my business, right? Like sending messages out to people that I can't physically like touch or hug. And um, that was a big thing. Like all of a sudden my coach is getting to summit with me. It was, it was awesome that first year. And so, yeah, Amy and I just talked about that. I know Pat and I have talked about it, but the more you can, a, get to summit. Everyone in this group, if you're saying you want to be a diamond, you better be getting to summit because your coaches are not just listening to what you're doing. They're actually watching what you're doing. And so if you want your coaches to show up to be business builders, if you want those emeralds and future diamonds, guess what? You have to posture like a diamond and a star diamond and diamonds and star diamonds don't not go to summit period, right? Unless you're like having a baby, there's no reason why you <laughs> Because you went to Summit very pregnant. I went to Summit, yes, very pregnant. But um, yeah, I was not physically in labor. That would be the only thing that probably would have pulled me back. And I, yeah, I was a brand new diamond. I literally became diamond to go to Summit so that I didn't have to wait in the long lines. <laughs> Motivation yeah. right there, you guys. Be yeah. diamond. So that you and she worked out next to Sean T with her big old belly. If you haven't oh, seen that video, go look for it on her page. Giant, that was awesome. Giant tummy. That was my first like, <laughs> beach body moment. I was like, wow, oh, this is really cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, um, so yeah. And who else? You met Amy at an event, Amy Silverman and yeah. Amy, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys, Tony. I met Rock. Amy at, um, right. You know, again, you always, connect with people via social media on Facebook or, you know, all these other cool things. But at Tony Robbins date with destiny, Amy and Kevin were there two years ago, the first time that I went. Okay. And that was a really, you know, great connection to be able to meet them there and share that experience with them. And then this past year with Wendy and Pat and, um, quite a few other coaches came yeah. this year to do with Destiny. Weren't that there like awesome. five of us who were all on that same leadership team on the beach were all at Date with Destiny? Yeah, that's right. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That's very strange. Mm -hmm. There were only like 2,000 people at Date with Destiny, but anyway. Yeah. So, Amy, thank you so much. Is there anything else you think we should add or get people like more encouraged to find a success partner or anything else? I don't think so, but, you know, like we've already said, you know, earlier, just, you know, you've got, it's like with anything, don't worry about being rejected, you know, think of this as strictly a business partnership at first, and then you can get all woo-woo and friendly and fuzzy, but, <laughs> right? Which we are, obviously, yeah. Get the nose out of the way, it's fine, you know, find somebody, but it's worth the search, it's worth putting yourself out there, because when you have this connection, it's something that I'm just so grateful for every day. And something that's kept me together <laughs> the past year and taken me to that, you know, next level. And just really so excited for everything else that's going to transpire as a result of this. So definitely worthwhile and something that, you know, is a great place for you to do it here in this group. So Yeah, we're also a safe place, right? So don't be scared of mm -hmm. someone telling you no. Because if they're telling you no then that's probably not someone you want to be a partner with anyways, right? Like, so you just can't take it personally and be like, well, this is good. Just like, so our, our theme of our group is go for no. So same kind of thing. Keep like my whole process. I do this dating too, but short, short quickly, right? Like, don't spend a lot of time <laughs> Someone, <laughs> if you don't, Eating tips with them, I need Amy. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's late. <laughs> don't ever have fun together. <laughs> Never. <laughs> we do serious business stuff, though. That's one thing. Like when we get on the phone, it's like, "Where are you at with that? Where are you at with this?" And then we laugh about something, and then we get back to it. We don't. We don't get to do this a lot, but anyways, yeah, so I cornered into it, and now it's like 1045 on a Tuesday night. We both need to get to bed, but thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks, uh, guys. Yes. So, And you guys can always reach out to Amy if you have any questions about stuff, too. She's really awesome. So anyway, okay. Well, Amy, 
Good night. I'll see you Good soon. Night, Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Wait. Ooh, stop.